my movie review for White Boy Rick. It's definitely an Oscar film, and if I say an Oscar film, and I say it, from, I say it like that, that means I think it's bad, because Oscar films are usually those ones you never want to watch again, which is why I thought it was rare that Ar- Argo actually won an award, because it's a film I've watched multiple times. This one, I would never watch again. Like, on a critical level, I'd give it like a B-, minus, but on a personal one, maybe a D plus. I mean, the only reason it it's worse than uh, Ocean's 8 is worse than this is because I was expecting more from Ocean's 8. So, personally, that would, that would always be the worst film of the year for me. Unless Aquaman totally tanks. But, other than that, uh... It's uh, one of those films that you're bored throughout the whole thing, but it's not, like, mind-numbingly bored. There's always a little bit of entertaining thing on there. I mean, probably if you were, like, born in the 80s, you'd probably get, like, nostalgic for the stuff they show or the music or, like, clips. Like, it shows some scenes of TV and that kind of stuff. And they open a video store and, uh... On a side note, it's nice to know that, uh... Every time some moron starts complaining about how uh, black people are always thrown in prison and that, I can throw this one up as the longest person to serve a sentence in, uh, at least in Michigan, was a white guy for, and it was a non, it was a non-criminal crime, or was it? It was a crime that no one got hurt during, so it wasn't murder or anything. Uh, yeah, another thing of the uh, FBI in the 80s and early 90s being complete and utter a-holes. I mean, you got this one, you got American Mage, you got Kill the Messenger. Would I ever watch this film again? Hell no. Would I tell someone to watch it? Maybe at least once. Like, it's one of those films you watch at least once, but you never really want to bother watching it again. Unless that's kind of stuff your cup of tea. Which I'm not judging if it is. I mean, I know I love films that people hate. And I know that I completely hate films that people love. It's like everybody freaking loves Infinity War. And I, I watched it once. And that was it. I, never, I haven't watched it since. It's just sitting there on the shelf. I don't know why I bought it. I just did it because I thought... I, was, I didn't want to bother pre-ordering anything. Because I canceled my pre-orders of it. And then I said, okay, if I ever see it in stores, I'll buy it. And then there it was in the stores. Like a, two weeks after it came out. So, man on my word. Still think about if I want to sell it or not. I might just keep the dumb book and sell the tapes. Anyways, uh, personal score with D minus, B plus on the critical side. Uh, wait till it hits on TV if you if you really want to see it. Have a good one. Oh, and to add a little extra about the actual movie and not, like, ramblings, uh, I'd guess the best actors in the thing would be, uh, RJ, who was the, uh, kid in the beginning who was Rick's friend, who was also Billy in the Power Rangers in the movie that came out a couple years ago, and, uh, McConaughey. Nah, have a good one.